Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu. Let's continue on in Tyranny. Um, let me just kind of remind myself what I was doing. So we have to go to... The Stone Sea. Yes, the Dawning Spire and the Aurora, Aurora Spire in Stone Sea. Fantastic. So we're going to meet to Halfgate to meet with um, Hagrin. Who I believe is a beast person, if I'm not mistaken. But before we do that, let's make sure that we're fully rested. So we're actually going to go back to um, the mountain spire. Wait, we're, already, we're not there? What are you talking about? Don't lie to me, game. Thank you. Fantastic. And we're going to sit through another loading screen because that's just the kind of high quality, um, you know, let's p plays that I provide. But thankfully that didn't take too long, so... There is that. Let's make sure we get a good solid 8 hours of sleep. Fantastic. And it's... is it noon? Awesome. Let's go now to... Halfgate. I believe the Stone Sea is where the... Um, the... The Scarlet Chorus have made their homes. Anything else we can do anywhere else? No, right? Was it last episode? I think it was last episode. We finally got the... Um, that really unique sword. I forget what it's actually called. It's called the... The Dauntless. And it looks uh, pretty majestic. Gotta say. Uh, okay. Looks like we're already going to run into the uh, Scarlet Chorus. Fantastic. Well, lo and behold. Lo and pissing behold, in fact. Look who's here, the great Fatebinder of Tunon. Come and greet His Excellency. Would you have us bow and worship like dogs at your feet? She runs her fingers over a ragged blade. Or do we settle this with a bit of fun? I've only just arrived and already you test my patience. Well, shit. I think I've gone and upset the mewling canker wit. No, don't hurt me, Fatebinder. I'm trembling. Can you believe this one, struggling about like this town isn't already ours? There's only the question of uh, what to do about you. I, sli I slice down your face, mayhaps? Or dagger betwixt your shoulders as you walk away. I'm partial to either. Hmm. Uh, should we intimidate them? I feel like we should kind of kill them. Do we have... We have a lot of wrath with the Scarlet Chorus. So we might as well. Just... Let's... Yeah, let's let's kill them. I'm uh, partial... I'm partial to a good slaughter today. Wait. No, she already said something to that effect. No wonder it sounded familiar. Okay. Today's a fine day to wash the streets with Chorus blood. Fantastic. A joke's a joke, eh? We were just having a bit of a row. No need to be so eager to die. Right? No need to get all worked up over it. After a quick moment of uncertainty, she breaks into a full-on retreat while shouting into the air. Quickly! Misery! The Fate Binder is coming through! Well, and with that, Verse just leveled up, I believe? Tails between their legs. Now that is a refreshing sight. Hold your tongue, man. I'm gonna uh, have um, Verse level up. Should we increase accuracy? I believe accuracy increases her critical chance. So that might be a good thing. Mm. And superior to parry, use dodge skill to avoid incoming melee attacks. Ah. Uh, no, let's go with... After changing weapon sets, she won't really be changing weapon sets, so I don't think that really matters. Let's make her more mobile in uh, combat, so mobile recovery. Fantastic. Right. Who are you, and why the hell are you talking to me? Watch your step, Fatebinder. The Stone Sea is a rather steep drop from Halfgate's edge. Wouldn't want you to slip off now. What can a poor trader do for you? This place sure has been wrecked. 
and by a fate binder like you no less. No offense to you, of course. You're good justice. But if I ever get my sights on who did this, I'll give him a right piece of my mind. The city lost everything to the edict. Her homes, her people, even her name. Can't imagine what it was like to watch her quake and burn. Now that the city's death slide has settled, we only have to deal with the occasional rumbling. The tremors that come and go like sweeping summer storms. Most blame the disfavored. The Earth Shakers are no help at all. The Scarlet Chorus at least want to solve the problem. I hear the folks at Halfgate feel the disfavored are causing problems. Have you come to help then? Those meddling Earth Shakers are protecting Cairn. But for the life of me, I couldn't tell you why. Maybe they like the trembling he causes every time he rattles and moans. But how are we to rebuild so long after the Archon lives, or so long as the Archon lives? Halfgate's town folk sympathize with the Scarlet Chorus, is that so? Well, we don't like them, but we don't hate them either. They've got a plan to stop the Earth's trembling, so they say. Kill Cairn, kill the Quakes. Once the land's at rest, we can rebuild and farm again. Have anything noteworthy of stock? Afraid not. I'm plumb out of, well, everything. A bit of gabblings, uh, gabbing's all I've got to trade at the moment, uh, if you're in the market. Nope. I don't want... I don't know what gabbing is and I don't want it, so don't talk to me. I guess though I did approach you, so maybe I shouldn't say that? Dangling ropes. Okay, cool. As in, don't care. And look at that. We're going to engage in combat with Scarlet Chorus. Let's do this. Heads up, Let's kill Yank. some bitches. Uh, yeah, it'd be good to <laughs> test out my uh, Dauntless. Excuse me. Get back here! Can't Where the hell do you think you're going? No, no, no. Get over here. Don't attack my crew. How dare you? Unacceptable. Thank you. I'd like to have your attention as you're... Making the worst gurgling death noise. Oh, that was awesome. I love seeing bits and little bits and pieces of people just flying all over the place. Does that make me a psychopath? Maybe. Maybe. Well, well, well. Looks like we have a lot of killing to do here. Fantastic. Your days end here. Yeah, are you sure about that? You want to make a bet, maybe? Oh, I thought you exploded, but I guess not. Okay, um, let's see if we can do a combo set. To kind of like make things a little interesting. When everyone's gathered around, fantastic. Let's do the earth thing, I don't know. Shatter stone something. It's kind of weird how the stone like fidgets in the air and I think that's kind of because um, I'm getting hit whilst I'm doing all that stuff so maybe that's why. Let's do this um, drain strength thing. Fantastic. Sure. Kill her. Move on to him. And Lantry has finally leveled up. Fantastic. When the hell did we get a wound? How many wounds? Just one? Still unacceptable. Okay, I don't think I was quite necessary. Um, that attack Siren. Didn't work. I keep forgetting her name. Kind of unnecessary, Siren, but you know what? Uh, I appreciate the enthusiasm, so... Sure. Oh, I guess we're, she doesn't have that a attack um, melee work. attack? Maybe that's why we're not engaged to her or whatever? Nice. I wonder if there's a... Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's actually a little better than what she has now. It reduces the range a little bit and the armor penetration, but eh. Maybe it's worth it? Who knows. Let's get everyone to take that crap. Let's do some looting before we talk. Should we actually just go around killing everyone before we talk? You know what we should do? Is level up Lantry. That's what we should do. Um, let's go with more quickness. Because it'd be nice for him to cast uh, spells faster. Voice of Ages. Finally. Holy crap. That took way too long. Good job, buddy. Now we can kind of finally go back and take what we missed. Probably? No, let's talk to the Left Claw over here. Left Claw, what's your deal, buddy? The beast man is shackled and cannot move. Let's examine him. He lies bound and is unable to move. Okay, well that's um 
you know, it's kind of information that I only knew. Did I miss something over here? I'm looking at the mini-map. And it appears I have missed something to loot, which is completely unacceptable. Grain. Fantastic. Yay, more grain. After everything's said and done, I can maybe finally, um, I don't know, get my own windmill or something? Or bakery? Must be my lucky day. The Crimson Spear cocks her helm hidden face to the side, studying you warily. I get to bathe in... Bathe my Arabella in a fate binder's blood. She stomps in to a hip-squared crouch and pivots her long spear over her head. As her hand movement speeds, the bronze spear begins to whump and snap at the air. She slaps her spear against the ground, loud as a whip crack, and her arms shudder from the force as the ha haft ricochets back into the air. She laughs, clamorous and throaty and pleased, eager to test her prowess against you. Any last words? Hmm. <laughs> hey, what's that over there? <laughs> um. Let's see. Uh. What? What's a? What's a? Impressive thing to say. I feel like the first one's a little um. Wordy, but maybe that's just how kind of how our character is. If you mean the last words you're going to you're ever going to hear, how about these? You're gonna die now. She spits veh vehemently at the ground. Insolent pox prick. I'm going to enjoy skinning you slowly over the next few weeks. Best hope I don't take you alive, eh? With that, she cracks your neck audibly, raises her spear, and charges for you. Fantastic Lantry. Get the hell back, buddy. Guys, what are you doing? You guys are absolutely just terrible at positioning. Thank you. Let's make sure that... Whoa. I didn't realize he was a someone that we were fighting too. Right. For some reason, I just thought he was... Um, like a prisoner or something that we were trying to save? But... Right, of course not. Let's do another... Shattered Stone. What exactly does it do? Um... It... The power of Siren's voice... Right, it just dazes people in a large radius. Ah, fair enough. I mean, we're being punched by these fools, and he just exploded, which is fantastic. On it. Sure, she'll bash him. Yay, we're being healed. Uh, don't ignore her. What are you doing, guys? Why are you moving closer? Don't do that. Kill misery. Well, Flantry, that's your problem, not mine. Solve it. You're a grown-ass man. In fact, you're the oldest one here. Actually, there's a good chance that you're older than everyone combined. I still don't know how old Siren is. And I'd feel bad for making a, an inappropriate comment about her if, without knowing her age. I mean, that it's not to imply that I would make an inappropriate comment if I, even if I did know her age. I'm saying I wouldn't. Because I'm just a gentleman like that. Oh, I was kind of hoping you would explode, but you know what? That's okay. Let's loot his dead body. And we have... What is this? I thought that was a Flava Flav's clock, but apparently it's just a sapphire. It kind of looked like a clock, oh. didn't it? Maybe. Yay, more healing potions. As a matter of fact, let's make sure that we're healing potions are well distributed amongst our party here. We can take 10, sure. You have a lot already, so maybe not. Um, no, you don't need 20 healing potions there, lady. You, take some. Siren? Siren, would you like some healing potions? Fantastic. No, no, you don't need 20. Uh, who takes the most damage here? Can we split this? No, that's not what I'm asking for here. Uh, okay. Let's split this among between Verse and Lantry, who appears to be doing the most dying. Let's make sure that I have the most of the um, really good stuff, and then give the rest to Siren, I guess, because she likes to get up up close and personal. Maybe she likes to um, see the whites of people's eyes before she sings 
into them? Causing their deaths or something? I don't know. Apparently there's a couple of cats here that we can't speak to, which is uh, kind of weird. I don't know why we can't speak to a cat, but you know what? I guess that's just how it's gonna be. I'd rather games don't limit me, limit me like that, but it's okay. Let's read the scroll. We've learned Sigil of Bounding Bolts. And while we're here, we're going to do the old, um, good old RPG thing where yeah. we just basically loot this person's entire house before their very eyes. And then we speak to them. Oh, he's an Earthshaker. Fatebinder of Trunon, mercy, please mercy, kill me. And my torment, I'm begging you. He dry wretches, quivering and covered in blood. I can just straight up grab him by the collar and bash his head against the wall until he dies. Mm. Okay, well, I'm gonna be a waffle here. If I'm going to order your death, I'll need to hear what crimes you've committed to warrant it. He starts to nod, but it turns into a halted cringe. How's this for you? I killed an entire village, men, women, and children, crushed with a snap of my staff. Because I had to know if I could do it. I slaughtered them in a landslide and listened to their screams. He grimaces a smile at the memory dis despite his pain. You have no idea how exhilarating it felt. He eyes you discerningly. Or maybe you do. Hmm. Uh. I can free you? Or should I get him to come closer? Uh, how about I be lawful? For the crime of willfully breaking Kairos' peace, I hereby sentence you to be crushed by the weight of a rock until dead. The punishment shall be carried out no later than a span from now. A fitting end? He grunts. Wait, I gained favor? Ah, oh, man. He grunts, nearly breathless from the pain. So long as it comes quickly, I have no care as to how it's done. Please. Hurry and send for my executioners. Do not make me wait and uh, wonder, wishing every moment for it to come. There must be a better way to atone for his crime, Fatebinder. Death is almost too merciful. Does that happen often? Folks trying to use you as a means of suicide? I've been tied to a scarlet chorus post. I know what desire to be free e even if it means death. I know that desire to be free even if it means death. Can I? Where do you go? I was gonna rejudge him and then, I don't know, like, torture him a little bit? You know? Blade under the fingertips kind of, or fingernails kind of thing? Not that I'm an expert in uh, torture, but, you know. Why are you still cowering? Please. There's nothing to cower over. I've saved you, uh, you yokels and you bumpkins. Look at that. Let's just speed through it. It should be fine. It's gonna be a fairly easy fight. Yep. Already one dead. And versus just throwing the most, you know, creative taunts. You just... Wow. That's embarrassing for you, Verse. Didn't even get to finish your insult. As you slay the last of Scarlet Course gangsters that terrorized Halfgate, the town's residents once more emerge from their homes. Vendor stalls are reopened for business, children play in the rubble-filled roads, and a crowd gathers in the village square as daily life in the ruins of Azura resumes. Fantastic. Ah, uh, got some random crap. Classic example of the Overlord's devastation. Like a battering ram, the Edict cleared everything in its path, including the farmlands we need to keep the army supplied. Good. Yeah. Every last one of you can starve, and the world will be better for it. Maybe if you didn't force everyone to fight for you, there would be more food to go around. But yes! Let's worry about the poor chorus trudging through the world, destroying everything it touches. What's that? A man was hounded, chased, and tortured, and then had a spell of such power dropped on him that it literally tore a town into pieces? Who cares about that? Um... Someone's a little salty. But you know what? That's... I guess... You're that age to be salty? Or are you a little older? To 
be that salty? I'm trying to ask you how old you're supposed to be, Siren. Let's talk to Sarah. She's, of course, uh, Michael Sarah. Re warm regards, Master Fatebinder. How do you do? I haven't seen many folks of the likes of you around here. Then again, most of the folks I've been bumping into lately are of the Scarlet Chorus. They're not the likes of anything but rotten. Anything I can do for a nice gentleman like you? Uh, what can you tell me about the Scarlet Chorus's presence here? Only that they'd been mucking about, stirring up trouble for weeks, trying to conscript, conscript the uh, lot of us. I'm glad you rid us of them. Us gentlefolk didn't like their methods, Master Faithbinder. Granted, some prefer the company of this chorus of, to the disfavored, and I don't blame them. If all the chorus wanted was to save the land, as they proclaimed, I'd be happy to aid them too. But the way they were seeking to swell their ranks, I think they've got another agenda in the Stone Sea. And what would that be? Everyone knows there's uh, uh, there are Earthshakers camped at Howling Rock. Whatever they're tinkering with there, the Scarlet Chorus wants to stop it. Or maybe they just want to cause bloodshed. Either way, they'd need bodies for an attack, wouldn't they? Um, okay, well what can you tell me about their operations at Howling Rock? A group of disfavored entrenched themselves at Howling Rock not so long ago. Damn Earthshakers leave won't leave no matter what we've tried. She sniffs primly, indignant at the remembrance. Whatever they're doing to that rumbling uh, Archon, it's making the earthquakes worse. We'd be happy to rid them if only we... to cl uh, calm the land. I doubt this woman knows the first thing about arcane theory, but she's probably not wholly wrong in her speculation. The Overlord's magical edict is the true source of the tremors. No simple mage could shake the land on this scale. But no doubt the Earthshakers are playing some dangerous game with magic well beyond their ken. Uh, say I want to help this town. What can I do? Stopping the quakes would be a blessing, that's for sure. Don't guess you've... Any thoughts on how to do that, would you? The Scarlet Chorus claimed to have a plan. Uh, before you kill them. Catching herself, she coughs uncomfortably before dabbing at the corner of her mouth with a tattered rag. Now, I, I didn't mean by anything by that. No, it's my sir, Fatebinder. Even if he hadn't come along, I wouldn't trust much in a, a chorus promise. Sure, they, they've others out there in the Stone Sea, but who knows what they're capable of, if anything. That's all for the moment. You provided me with zero intelligence. Marissa, what are you doing? No mercy for murderers, death to the beast! Put him to the rope, hanging by his hairy throat, we'll have our justice. What happened? What's all this excitement about? A group of our boys, with some help from the chorus, caught the beast just outside of town. They found him like that, fur all matted with blood and gore from hunting down humans. Just look at his snout, still stained with wretched dinner. The woman shudders and touches a grubby handkerchief to her mouth. She blots at her upper lip, pale-faced and swearing to the Archons. I wish she'd choke on it. Wretched? I'm told man tastes a bit gamey. But Wretched seems like a needless uh, hyperbole. It's not far off from Elk or Loris, from what I'm told. In fact, I've read the uh, Kvatna tribe called Human Slow Loris on account of its taste and ease of capture. Never thought I'd be happy to have, the, uh, had, to have had the chorus around, but for once they did us right. Now all that's left to see the now all that's left is left is to see the brute killed. She sniffs and gives a curt nod. Of course, with the chorus gone, now we'll have to do it ourselves. And you're sure he's killed a human? Someone witnessed this, witnessed it or otherwise found proof? You soft on beastmen or something, Fatebinder? You'd rather side with them than humans? That killer was found all with blood all over his face and paws right outside the gates. Who else do you think he ate if it weren't one of us? That monster killed and ate a human, and you call yourself a steward of justice? Well, go on then. Deliver that beast a well-deserved death. Ah! Hmm. For justice to be properly served, he deserves either a Faithbinder's arbitration or a fair, fair trial. That's so, Faithbinder. Why don't you go ask some of the uh, other uh, others around then? See how many of us are interested in your thoughts on justice. She glowers. 
hand bunching the fabric of her dress as she adds, You don't deserve to walk free, and you know it. Mm. By my authority as a faithbinder of Tunan, I will uh, act as educator in this situation. Attempt to disrupt my duty to the court, and then you will suffer the consequences. The woman pales and takes an unconscious step back. What, 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 what will you do, Fatebinder? Do you mean to find him innocent? Hmm. I guess we'll say, with lack of physical evidence, I will hear the people's testimony and judge the Beastman in accordance with Kairos' customs. Or should we be evil? Let's be lawful. Sure. I guess we have to judge him now. Grayson, you have a name. Let's talk to you. Fatebinder, Slayer of Choirmen, Keeper of the Peace. He rushes towards you with his arms outstretched and grips you tightly around your waist before realizing his intrusion. He quickly backs away and pats away some of the dust he left behind. So many different faces come through this town, but how could I miss the one who single-handedly slayed those gangsters? Seems every other day we got new scavengers or artifact hunters or just completely odd folks coming through these parts. Almost unsettling if you ask me. Is there anything I can do to help you? Any information you need about the area? Okay, well, can you tell me about the spires in the Stone Sea? Deep in the heart of Beastman territory, there's one. Those are dangerous parts. You best be watching your back out there. He nods solemnly before continuing. The other, the other is surrounded by those rock worshippers where the Colossus of Stone finally collapsed. A stone colossus? Yeah, that giant of an Archon. He kept moaning and groaning as he made his way across the land. Left destruction in his wake and riled up the beastmen something fierce. Believe he fell near the dawning spire? He gave his head a scratch, pondering the situation. Some of the vendors here in town could tell you more. I know they've had some dealings with the scavengers from those areas. Okay, well tell me more about Halfgate. Well, let's see. It used to be called Plainsgate until Karen came traipsing through and Fatebinder Calio cast the Egypt Edict of Stone on him destroying thousands of lives in the uh, process. He purses his, li his lips, but you can't win a war without casualties. At least, that's what we're told. Even after, we kept getting hit hard by the earthquakes. We've lost a lot of people and possessions, but other areas were hit even harder during the edict. Guess you could, have, uh, you could say we were in the eye of the storm. Earthquakes. Kids these days. Watch 10 years of ornithological sketches vanish in 20 seconds of smoke. Then tell me all about your slow, leisurely tremors. Oh no, the roads are all shifting and my map's obsolete. Actually, that does sound quite odious. No matter what happens, you have to keep a positive outlook because it would have... It could have been far worse. Things can always be far uh, worse, Fatebinder. Okay, well, what can you tell me about Karen? What is there to say other than he has ruined our lives? We are beset with earthquakes and we've lost so many friends because of him. After the destruction here, he headed out into the stone sea and that's what that's where he still lies. His body turned to stone and the story is he's trapped. That's what's causing uh, the earthquakes. His ongoing death throes are tearing our land apart. But those damned disfavored won't let him die. So we're the ones stru uh, stuck suffering. How well do you know how I can find his body? I hear it's a place called Howling Rock, but I'm no adventurer. My entire life is here in town, so I wouldn't even know where to begin regarding how to get there. Best I can offer is to keep telling you, um, is to tell you to keep asking around town. Someone is bound to know more than I do. Okay, well, how has his uh, passing affected the settlers of this town? Townsfolk have taken to joining scavenger crews and heading to, into the Stone Sea to search for artifacts and other treasures. Problem is, the Stone Sea is full of dangers, and those scavengers put their lives in danger each time they leave the settlement. Okay, well, is there anything I can do to help the scavengers? There is indeed a way you can help, Faithbinder. The scavenging mission went out a few days back, and we haven't heard them since. Uh, we haven't seen them since. The longer they're gone, the more I'm sure they won't be coming back. Okay, well, I'll go look for them. That is wonderful news, Faithbinder. Thank you. He smiles and grabs your hand, shaking it vigorously. There were other... They were on their way to Stone Down, but no one knows if they even arrived. Well, let's talk about something else. Uh, what were the Scarlet Corps doing here? In Halfgate? 
Not much. Now that you've slain them. But for the rest of the Stone Sea, all I can tell you is they came in promising to help us with the Beastmen and telling everyone they'd take care of the Earthquakes. I don't know if they were telling the truth or not, but I do know that they've damn near swarmed the this realm, claiming it for the uh, their Archon of Secrets. And if they can take those beasts, wild beasts out, I'm willing to give them all the help they want. Okay, well, uh, what about the Disfavored? I've not seen any personally, but I found they... But I've heard they've set up care, uh, set up around Karen's body at Howling Rock. No one in town wants him around. Everyone here blames him for the ongoing earthquakes. Okay, well, what can you tell me about the captured beastman? Grayson grimaces, shaking his head. Ah, yes. The animal they caught outside the village. Can't wait for that unpleasantness to be dealt with. Covered in blood, lurking about, no doubt to hunt more settlers. Mangled himself in a trap outside the gates. Don't know why the chorus brought him in. Just wipe the beast out of uh wipe the beast out or drive them away, that's what I say. He didn't actually see him kill anyone. Why are you so quick to assume he's guilty? An animal does what an animal does. If there's something to ki the kill, they will kill it. It's a simple matter of nature. I hear rumors you're judging the matter. If you're of a mind to set the beast free, best do it far from here. If we see him outside the town, we won't hesitate to kill him. Alright, well that's all for, for now. And that is unfortunately going to have to be all for now for this episode. Because we're currently out of time. But we'll come back and um, do some more adventuring in the Stone Sea in the next episode. So, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.